Hi guys, welcome to the new series of SQL interview question. In this series, we will be talking about only the important interview questions from SQL. And this series is for both CSE and non-CSE students. But before jumping into this video, let me tell you, I have already uploaded a DBMS series and that too is for placement interview. If you haven't watched that, please go ahead and check it out. Now here is the next question. How to find nth salary of an employee? I have already explained you how to find second salary of an employee. But nth, nth could be the third highest salary, the fourth highest salary, fifth highest salary. Then how you are going to count that? How are you going to you know find out that? So for that, I have an answer for you. So as you can see on my screen, it is as simple as that. If you have watched my previous lecture, then you are going to understand it so quickly. Now let's see. As you can see, this slide is from my previous lecture only. And there only I have done is, you can see the limit. So, anath, it means it is asking you to find the anath salary. So, instead of two, top two, the sub query, in the, in the sub query, you need to make the number two equal to n, whatever n. So here you can see in the first in my SQL in, in SQL server, I have, I have already compared both in my previous lecture. Now you can see select, go to the inner query, select salary from employee order by salary limit this limit to means it was it is going to give me the salary of two that is that is in the descending order. Now, if you want the salary of fifth salary, fifth highest salary, then you need to replace that limit two with five. Fourth highest salary, you need to replace descending limit 3, descending limit 4, means descending limit n. That's the only difference you need to make. And the first, the upper query will be the same, the top query. Select star, select salary from the inner query as employee ordered by salary limit 1. Because you need to fetch only one record, right? So limit 1 will be always there. Only the changes will be in the sub query, the inside, the inner query. Now the, in the SQL server, it's as simple as that. Instead of top two, you need to replace it with an three, four, five. So let's jump to the inner query. Select top n salary from employee order by salary in descending order. And the, the upper query, the inner query will it's, it's going to it's going to change, but the upper query is going to be the same. So that's the only difference between, uh, you know, nth highest salary and second highest salary. It is all same. So I hope you guys uh, understood this. If you understood this, then don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.